We are here today to celebrate a union of love. True love is a sacred flame that burns eternally and none can dim its special glow or change its destiny. True love speaks with gentle air. True love gives with open heart and true love conquers fear. True love makes no harsh demands, it neither rules nor binds. And true love holds with gentle hands the heart that it entwines. And you know, love is one of the strongest emotions, but it cannot survive without an atmosphere of mutual respect, trust and kindness. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to have the wings of an angel. Because you're not looking for perfection in each other, what you're trying to do is to cultivate flexibility, patience, understanding and a sense of humor. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. And lastly, it is not only marrying the right partner, but it is being the right partner. Do you, Stephen, take Michelle to be your wife? Do you promise to love and respect her, to honor and protect her through the good and the bad and through all of life's surprises? And do you, Michelle, take Stephen to be your husband? Do you promise to love and respect him, to honor and protect him through the good and the bad and through all of life's surprises? Now, by the power vested in me as a marriage officer in the state of St. Lucia, I pronounce Stephen and Michelle to be husband and wife. You may kiss!